It's time for a tune-up. Premier Heating and Air is offering summer tune-up specials for only $109. Need a new AC unit? Payments start as low as $89 a month. Less than perfect credit? No problem. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Team Lawrence. I'm your host, Pat Brock, the Public Information Officer for Lawrence County Schools. And ladies and gentlemen, our East Lawrence Band of Gold are getting ready for this season. We've got the band director extraordinaire himself with us, Jonathan Sin. How are you, sir? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Doing well. Good to see you. Thank you for taking the time out to speak with us. We know that you guys are quite busy, just trying to make sure that you've got everything together so that you're uh, having a wonderful season. Talk to us a little bit about how last season went. We know last season we did really well. We went to our festival. We got uh, <clears throat> we got good ratings, mm -hmm. um, and we grew some. And so everything was going really good. And we're hoping that this year, with the expansion of all the new uh, rookies we have coming right. in, that we're going to have an even better year. So how many did you lose this past year? Because I know you had several that graduated. <laughs> oh gosh, in fact, I'm I'm not going to get the number <laughs> right, but I think it was somewhere around twelve. So when you have that many that right. were seasoned musicians, and then you're having to bring in so many rookies. How's that transition for you? Well, the great thing is, is band kids are used to thinking on their feet, and they're really quick to get things. So the transition, even though it's a little bit difficult, yeah. most of them kind of know what to expect because they've seen it every Friday night. Mm -hmm. They know how things go. They've been to concerts. And so it's just a matter of getting the terminology down, right actually learning the, the techniques and mechanics behind what they're doing sure. and then just practicing. And so, you know, you talk about, we talk about the feeder program with the mm -hmm. younger kids, you know, the, the uh, elementary, middle school. How, how important is that in making sure that, like you say, they, they are able to get it quicker? Right. Well, the, the thing with band, I told somebody this the other day, if, if something happens with your band program, you're not going to see it until four years because it, it filters up and mm -hmm. it's it's a slow process for it to happen. You know, I've seen programs that had small numbers and then all of a sudden you see them four years later and boom, they're just phenomenal programs. Right. Or they have weak musicians and then in four years, boom, they got phenomenal. It's always built from the ground up and that's right. that's really the way you want to do it. Um, and Miss Blanchett has come in behind Miss Jones who mm -hmm. was doing a great job and they have continued that tradition of getting those kids ready right to become high school musicians. So it's always, you know, they've done an outstanding job. Uh, Blanchett's sending me more consistent numbers now, um, now that we're out of COVID and everything right, settled right. back down. But you know, it's that, it's COVID's over with, but it's still, you're still gonna feel the effects coming through. But fortunately, um, she's done a wonderful job down there. And uh, we're getting 30 to 40 kids every year from her. And whenever you're losing 12, but you're gaining 40, that's, That's where you want to be that. going. That's right. You know, means your numbers are going up. That means your your product's going to be better. And how many do you have this year, sir? Uh, we got somewhere between 75 and 80, depending wow. on which ones are playing softball or, or right. you know, cheering or which ones are sick or, or you know, yeah, whatever. whatever it is. Yep. <laughs> and you've been doing this for a long time, Mr. Sand. Yeah, it's been a minute. How many years? Well, it's actually, uh, this is my 20th year here at East Lawrence. Right. And uh, I've been a band director for 28 years. So. 28 years. <laughs> oh, my Lord. How have you, as a band director, a musician yourself, right. how have you seen yourself evolve and grow throughout the years, the years in, to be a better instructor for these young people? Well, you know, with, with 28 years, <laughs> you, you learn a lot of what not to do and what to do. Yeah. And uh, these kids are really a, really good at being adaptable to if we try something and it doesn't work, we're going to Let's try something different. Wow. So we get to throw out the bad when we have failures. We mm -hmm. get to keep the good. And so you learn. But as I said, each group is different, yeah. you know, because you're turning over with different kids. So it's a, it's a thing where even though we may be doing different things, 
that may not work for this group. You may have been doing something for the past five years and eh, it doesn't work quite well, so you have to modify it. But I let the kids have a lot of influence in what happens in the program. So that's, that's a good thing because then they can kind of tailor it to what they need and what makes them successful. For sure. Now, talking about, let's talk about the, the, the genre of music this right. year because, you know, that's always a treat to kind of find out what it is you're going to be playing. Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, this year we're doing an Earth, Wind & Fire show. Kind of a continuance of, we did Tower of Power last year. Yes. So we're going to Earth, uh, Earth, Wind & Fire this year. We did a Chicago show a couple of years ago. So just introducing those kids to that type of music so they can see, hey, this music influenced this music, which is the music that I listen to. So it's always letting them good to go back and get the get the original version, yeah. so to speak. You know, there's so many remakes, so they think that the new artists are the ones that actually created the song, right. and you're about to tell them how it really is. Well, it's a, you know, <laughs> It's funny, there was, a, there was a TikTok of an old guy that his son would come in and would play, listen to this, Pops, and the guy would look at him and go, hmm, and then find it on his phone. Right. And it's kind of that situation whenever we're doing things as well, you know, the kids would be like, Mr. Sin, listen to this great song. And I go, hang on just a second. This is actually original. Right. How do you like this? And right. so, you know, it's, it's funny, but um, it's, it's, I always tell them, music is not as creative as you think. Um, music very repetitive and so for them to see that that not only helps them understand but it also helps them learn because mm -hmm. they're like okay this section repeats here and so you know it's just just learning about music I love it and in, and in music you're, it's telling those stories yes. it's bringing back those memories that nostalgia when you hear certain songs That's it. when it really clicks well it's always funny you know when they when they go much sin I heard that song at this gas station over the yeah, radio yes. and I'm like yes now you know. Now you know. Right. And for those songs that have that longevity, you know, it's they it's it's amazing to them, but it's I'm like good music will pass the test of time. Yes, it will. And now here it is. You've got over 30 rookies. Mm -hmm. Uh you bringing them in for camp. How has how has band camp been going and how do you kind of work out those kinks because summer break not everybody's practicing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're sitting at home playing Halo and eating Hot Pockets right. and uh, getting out there in the heat is something a lot of them haven't right. done. Um, but we, you know, we gradually get them into it. Obviously, you don't want to just throw them out there to begin yeah. with. So we have rookie camp where we get the new ones in there for a couple hours, let them go outside, get some of the heat. Monday's not as heavy as the rest of the days. So, you know, we kind of we don't have instruments. We're learning how to, we're learning how to march. Yep. And so taking them out there for a couple hours and then bringing them back into the air conditioner, mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of how we make sure we watch that very good and of course now you've got new section leaders and oh, yeah. drum majors so we're going to have an opportunity to meet those young people when you're deciding on which ones are the better fit mm -hmm. what's that process like well i make them do, do an interview process mm -hmm. they have to do an application and part of the application is is they have to explain one why they want to be it two why we should choose them right. and then they also have to go around and and collect signatures from from uh the other band members. Because if the band members don't want to follow them, then that's kind of pointless to point wow. you a section leader. So, you know, it lets it lets all the members again have input to how the how the group is going to run. Yeah. And then of course we do uh, we do interviews after that. Um, so it's teaching them those business skills mm -hmm. that they're going to need out in the world. And you know, we ask tough questions and so yeah. I want them to be prepared for life after school outside of band. I love that. And, you know, every time we interview the kids, they talk about how the the Band of Gold is such a family. Right. And so we're getting ready to meet some of those section leaders and just a few to just hear from them about how, for one, how there's some have been going, how this camp has been, and, and what should we expect from them. Anything else you want to add, Mr. Sin? Uh, no, I hope everybody enjoys the show this year. We're excited about it, and we're excited about you uh, and your team and the and how you work so well together and how you really transform these kids' lives. Well, I appreciate it. It's, a, it's an honor to be able to teach them. And it's always an honor to chat with you. Well, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Jonathan Sin, the band director here for the Band of Gold. David sells cars well at Dublin Nissan. Scott sells cars well at Dublin Nissan. Dylan sells cars well at Dublin Nissan. We do cars well every day at Dublin Nissan. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store.
where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Bedcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Bedcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Bedcock Home Furniture and More. 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and Moore Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here having the opportunity to speak with some of the band leaders here of the Band of Gold. And of course, when it's uh, band camp week, I mean, these kids are working really hard. So we're just so thankful they took the time out of their busy schedules to talk with us. We'll start with you, Lucas. How are you, Lucas? I'm doing great, Miss Pat. How about you? Doing great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. I know you weren't expecting this, were you? <laughs> no, ma'am. How's your summer been? It's going pretty good. I'm uh, excited about band camp, and I'm excited to start my senior year. For sure, this is huge for you. Yes, ma'am. And now talk to us a little bit about, um, you know, what you've been doing this summer, and now here you are, your upcoming senior, and the position that you have now with the Band of Gold, and what that means for you to have this responsibility. Uh, a couple of things I've done during the summer. I went to a couple of church camps. I went to one in North Carolina and then one in Florida. Mm -hmm. And I, the entire time I was at those camps, I've been practicing my drumming and everything, trying to be better. And then I already knew I had the position as band captain, and I was, like, very, like, nervous about the position. So, and then <laughs> when we started rookie camp, I was kind of nervous, kind of shy, trying to talk to the new kids and everything. Mm -hmm. But then as time went on, like, today I had to do basic block where I had to tell everybody what commands to do and everything. I should have been louder. Yeah. But, you know, as the season goes on, I'll make more improvements. It's going to come up. It? Yes, ma'am. Well, congratulations to you, and Thank I'm glad you, you had a wonderful time with your band, with your camps, you know, with the church. And so you were practicing throughout the summer, so you don't let up, do you, Lucas? No, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. That's what makes you great. Thank you. All right, Allison, how are you, dear? I'm doing good. How about you? Doing well. Talk to us a little bit about what's been going on with you. And, of course, uh, what grade are you going into now? Um, I'm going to 11th grade. Oh, an upcoming junior. And let's talk to us about this uh, prestigious leadership role that you have. Go for it. Um, I'm the new drum major, and I conduct the whole band. And it's pretty exciting. Now, Allison, you're an upcoming junior. How does that feel for you? It's, it's kind of nerve-wracking that I'm a junior. Oh, my gosh. Drum major. <laughs> You know, all eyes are going to be on you guys, you know, and it's like you already, you know, have the experience of being in front of a crowd. But now in these leadership roles, what things are you having to make sure that you're sharp on? Um, being louder towards the whole group yeah. and making sure everyone's not overstepping over us and stuff. And, you know, when you guys, you play hard together, you play hard together, and then you work hard together. Is it easy for you to be able to be a leader of your friends and your peers, your colleagues, so to speak, in the position that you're in? Sometimes no, because you don't want to, like, sometimes we'll have to give punishments out and everything. Yeah. And it's just, like, very difficult. Like, uh, they're probably going to be mad at me for giving them punishments. <laughs> right, and right. then... You know, you just don't want to have anybody hate you. Right. You want to be a leader. You want people to follow you so that way you can bring the band, you know, to get the best they can be at competition. And For sure, because that's what it's all about. It's like, here you are, you're a junior. You're like, oh, my gosh. You are the drum major, and so that means the decisions that you're having to make. I mean, you've got upperclassmen here yeah. that, that are having to listen to you. And so when you think about yourself as a leader, what is your leadership style like? Because you, like you say, you want everyone, you don't want people to not like you, but at the same time in your positions that you've worked hard for, you want them to be able to, for one, respect you in that position, and two, for you all to have a, a great finished product. And so as a leader, what is your style to get people, one, to be comfortable with you, to trust you, to trust your judgment, but then to also to listen to you and follow your commands? and making sure that this band of gold has it together? Um, I like to be like connected to almost everyone. So like rookies, I try to get close with them so they don't think of me as like controlling yeah. over them and stuff. And so, and I also make sure I'm not too 
like buddy buddy with them. Yeah. So they're not thinking I'm playing around all the time. And For sure. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you've got to have that line of demarcation. And so here it is. You all have been, uh, you've been musicians for how long, would you say? Uh, s about six, seven years. Six, seven years. What instrument do you play? Uh, I play, this year I pl I'm on tenor drums. And what were you on before? Uh, previously, ninth through 11th grade, I was on bass drum, and then eighth grade, I was on cymbals. So, okay, so you, you've you been switching around just a little bit. Just but a little but bit. is there a big, a big difference in the two or in the? Uh, and cymbals, yes, most definitely. Yeah, and bass sure. drum, it was kind of hard going from playing sideways to, you know, kind of flat. So it's a whole yeah. different style. Yes, ma'am. Wow. And what about you? Um, I've been doing it for about eight years, mm -hmm. since fifth grade. Oh, my gosh. And what instrument? Clarinet. The clarinet. And, you know, when you think about, like, all this time that you all have spent together, part of the Band of Gold, uh, what has been the most rewarding thing for you? Probably, I guess going to competition and everything mm -hmm. because that's one of my favorite things about band, having to go with my band family, yeah. travel to go to competitions and everything, and we always try our hardest to get yeah. ones, and that's just like my favorite thing. Wow. And what about you, Allison? What's been the most rewarding for you? Eight years. Um, probably competition as well. Really? So Friday Night Lights, when you're all out there, you know, you're on the, on the Falcon Field, uh, your family, your friends are there, and it's like, does do you get an, like an, an adrenaline rush, rush when it's time for you to perform? Or are you just are you just calm, cool, and collected? Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> what um, about you? In eighth grade, when I first started, I was really like very nervous, yes. but then as time went on, like now, I can go in the field and I'll be very chill. Very so, chill. Yes, ma'am. For you too, and so here it is. You both are talking about competition. Where that's been the highlight for you. Uh, how many how many competitions do you all have this season coming up, or do you know already? Uh, we already do, we only do one. We've got year. one competition, and where is that? Where do you compete, and how many bands are you competing against? Do you know that? Um, I'm not sure how many we're competing against, mm -hmm. but it's in Pierce County. Okay, and so here it is. What you all have been working on here? Uh, you got new music. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh! Now, how long do you how long have you had the new music before you all are having to come together to the band camp to play? Uh, the drumline has, we've had our music for exactly a week now. Okay. And then okay. everybody else is five days. Okay. And we've okay. already we're making a lot of progress, so I'm very proud of that. So you all have got to work quickly, right? Yes, we oh do. Oh my gosh! Well, listen, we're very excited about, for one, you all in your new positions, and of course, the season coming up because we love seeing you all take the take the stage, so to speak, and and to have you all perform. And and you talk about family. Do you see this as a family for you all? I do. Yeah. And so, what do you? And speaking of families, what do you want uh, the Band of Gold to know? With you and your new leadership position, what do you want them to know, or what do you want to say to them? Um, um, I guess that I'm excited to be working yeah. with them mm -hmm. for this year. Yeah, and I see a lot of potential in this group. Very good. Anything you want to say to your your peers? Uh, that I'm very proud to be your new band captain. And I hope you do very well in the future at competition in every football game. Very good. All right. Well, uh, congratulations to you both. And we cannot wait to see you on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the band captain, Lucas, and the drum major herself, Allison. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics. And we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy and uh we're just excited to have it and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Five locations serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard and downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC and an equal housing lender.
You know, it's always so exciting to have the opportunity to speak with the section leaders here and see these little ones that I remember when they were itty bitties. And now here they are, they're leaders here with the Band of Gold. We're going to start with you, Serenity. Talk to us a little bit about you. How's your summer been, girl? Man, <laughs> it's just been, I would say busy, but at the same time, it's not really busy. I've been just preparing for this year's marching band season and my senior year's soccer season coming oh up, too. God. How does it feel? It's it's really weird because, man, I had my senior pictures in the middle, and I was oh. like, oh, I'm not ready for it to come. I know. And now here it is. Tell them what your, uh, your title is now with the Band of Gold. I am the flute section leader. Oh, my gosh. How does it feel for you, Serenity? Now, uh, you've always been a leader, and now here it is, another year, your senior year. This is the year for you. Mm -hmm. How does all this feel? Are you taking it all in? I'm trying to take <laughs> in as much as I possibly can. I mean, this year has gone a bit more smoother than last year did. Um, I'm very proud of how far the band has come just in the past couple of days that yeah. we've been working together. Um, we've come quite a distance already. For sure. you got some rookies in there, don't you? I've got uh, two new two new kids. All right. Very good. All right, Jenny. How are you, darling? I'm good. Now, here you are. You were co-section leader last year, and now you are a section leader. Yes, Talk to us. How's, how's this summer been for you? Things that you, what you've been doing? What you've been up to? Um, my summer was, wasn't really busy, but it was busy enough. Yeah. Um, I've hung out with some friends, and I've just been really preparing for band camp, getting ready to see yeah. my band friends, my family. And what is your title now? I'm clarinet section leader. Clarinet section leader. So listen, guys, like you all have to pack a whole lot into band camp, don't you? Yes. <laughs> and, and how do you kind of work out the kinks? Because think about it. You've been off for a little while. What do you all do to work out the kinks so that you can learn this new music and, and, get, and start gelling because the season's about to begin? Um, it really depends on if we're on the field or if we're inside working on music. I mean, on the field, there's really nothing you can really do to prepare for it because you never know if it's going to be too hot, if yeah. it's going to be too cold, or if it's going to be cloudy or sunny. But most of the time, you just you just got to go with the flow with how yeah. things go. But if we're inside, like, you're going to want to make sure that you have what you need, like yeah. like your music and a pencil for sure, and your instrument, and mm -hmm. just be able to be an open person for any kind yeah. of comments, no matter what your music is. And, you know, do you find it easy or is it difficult working with some of the seasoned band members and some of the, the rookies? Because it's like you have to really know how to approach things differently, because especially the younger ones, like you really got to work with them. Is that easy for you to do to kind of make that adjustment as a leader? Um, I like to, like, establish a friendship first yeah. and gain their trust before I start helping them move forward and learn their music. Yeah. So building those relationships. And I was talking with the other ones earlier about the family aspect of it. Do you all see yourselves as a family? And what do you do to make sure that you continue to be that? I mean, most definitely we're like a whole family. Like Jenny right here, she's like she's like a sister to me. Like <laughs> um, since she's been in eighth grade and she started marching man, we've been like hip to hip every wow. year, man. It's it's like you never realize how close you're going to get with anybody until yeah. marching band happens. Like my new kids, I've already became like best friends with them. And like they already look up to me like, hey, how do you do this? Hey, yeah. I don't know how to do this. How do you do this? Yeah. Like it's, it's really just you don't really know your family until you realize that your time is almost done. For sure. So you're having those bittersweet moments already. Lord have mercy. <laughs> School hasn't even started yet. Pretty much. And you're like, oh, Lord, it's about over. <laughs> because when you think about it, it's like this year is going to really go by pretty quickly. And so you've got to savor that moment, savor yeah. all these moments. And Jenny, my goodness, baby girl. Now you have, how long have you been a musician for one? Um, since fifth grade. Since fifth grade. And as you've seen yourself progress through the years, in what ways have you seen yourself change and become a better version of yourself? I have seen that. I, I have grown more in the band, like built more relationships with the younger kids and been able to get into that leadership position that I have aspired to be in. Mm -hmm. And you hear her over here. This is like your big sister now, huh? Yes. <laughs> and so these relationships that you all have, 
I've seen it. I've seen it as far as when you're doing these extracurricular activities, being a part of the band, and how that really bridges the gap and does bring you bring you together. And I think that when you're able to be friends and be able to trust one another, you're able to be very effective out there, whether it's competition or it's Friday nights. Most definitely. Most definitely. Now, all right, is there anything that you want to say to your section? Because they're going to be watching this. I love y'all. And uh, work hard. Rem memorize your music. Oh, because yep. if not, there will be punishments. <laughs> you just memorize your music. If not, you're going to be punished. That's your leadership. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. What about you? What do you want to say um, to you? Don't get too scared to ask questions because yeah. no matter what, we are always open to help. Yeah. Like, if you ever got any questions or concerns or if somebody, something's going on and, like, yeah. you don't feel comfortable with something, just... You always got plenty of people to talk to. Yeah. You got upperclassmen, underclassmen that will talk to you mm -hmm. through the situation, no matter if they understand or they don't understand. Because we are always here like family, no matter no matter if we just met or not. I love that. I love that. Well, congratulations to both of you and your new positions. We're excited about what this year holds for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're so proud of these young ladies. We've got Serenity to my left and Jenny to my right. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah make saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar. Depositing that spare change into a Moolah account where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. All right, we've got two more members here of the Band of Gold. They're going to share about themselves. And this time we've got a little rookie with us. How are you? Good. Good to see you, Brody. Thank you. Now, here it is. You're, you're coming up from the eighth grade, and now you're a, you're a freshman. Yes, oh, my gosh. How's all this been for you? Like, when did you start as a musician, and what instrument do you play? I started in the sixth grade, no, the fifth grade, because mm -hmm. we had the year before, and I'm a tuba player. Oh, my Lord. Now, is this overwhelming for you? To a little bit, oh yeah. My <laughs> oh, my gosh. And so you're not the only one. There's several yeah, other ones yeah. that are yes, rookies. Yeah. Have you been seeing some familiar faces? Yes, oh. I know almost everybody in the band. But here it is, now you're part of it at the high school level. That's a little mm -hmm. bit different for you, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. You're taking it all in, you're taking it in stride? Yep. All right, yep, very good. <laughs> all right, JJ, how you doing up there? Good, how about you? Doing well. All right, share with us a little bit about you, and let's talk about you now being in this leadership role. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Jamarion Chapman, a.k.a. JJ Chapman. Um, I'm in 10th grade. I'm a section leader for the low brass section for the Band of Gold. Um, uh, this year, it was a little different because we have a big section, one of the biggest sections in the band, so I had to really put on my big boy pants and be prepared. So, yeah. For sure. And now in this leadership position, now is it? do you consider yourself a leader already? Yes, ma'am. It was been plenty of times I had to lead the section in different ways when my mm -hmm. section leader was out, yes. you know, for different things, and I had to step up and be that bigger person. Oh, my goodness. And now here it is. You've got some some underclassmen here, right. some freshmen who, who are fresh out of the middle school, and you don't want to scare them. So, right. so how do you kind of help them get acclimated to um, – to the band of gold and how you all the method to what you all do. Well, with Brody, um, me and Brody play the same instrument, play tuba. I've been knowing Brody for a long time. Um, but basically, what, we have a rookie camp first. So um, before band camp, it's rookie camp, and we basically just introduce ourselves and teach them how to march. So by the time they come to um, band camp mm -hmm. with everybody else, they get a little more comfortable with what okay, to do. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Brody, talk to us a little bit. Talk to us, talk through us about this uh, this rookie camp. How was that? It was fun, but it was just kind of nerve-wracking, like just being at 
it being the first time I've did it before. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of scary to begin with, but <laughs> it feels normal now. So how many rookies are there? Three or four, I okay. think. Okay. Well, it's how many? Well, the low brass is <laughs> yeah. three or four, but it's about, I'll say about 35 rookies this year. 35? Okay. Oh, my Lord, There's a bunch of percussionists. Oh, my goodness. So here it is. A lot of newbies here. So you've been playing together for quite some time anyway, so you kind of got that kind of, you know, camaraderie. Mm -hmm. But now here it is at this level. What are, what are you most nervous or worried about or want to make sure that you're sharp on Brody coming now to the high school? Just memorizing my music mainly. I feel like all the marching stuff is going to be easy because we just worked on it constantly. Mm -hmm. It's more of just memorizing the music and remembering it. And so this genre of music, you all are doing, what? what is the genre this year? Um, well, it's Earth, Wind & Fire. That's it. Ooh. I love it already. I love it already. And so here it is. This is familiar mu music. Mm -hmm. You or your parents may have listened to right. this, and now here it is. You all are having to learn this music. Oh, my God. <laughs> so what is your? what do you do to learn your music? What helps you learn it faster? I just, if there's something parts I'm having trouble with, I mm -hmm. just go over it again and again until I just get used to it and get to knowing it. Mm -hmm. And now here you are in this position that you're in, all right? Mm -hmm. You've already, you know what it is. You right. know what it's like. I mean, you know how to bring them together, mm -hmm. right? right? And so what are your expectations for the Band of Gold this year? This year, um, I expect a lot more growth when it comes to discipline yeah. and a little more just leadership overall because last year it was our growing season. Mm -hmm. So we weren't expecting that many rookies last year. So now that we know... I feel like that we should be more disciplined, like I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we're excited about this year. I know you're a little nervous, baby, but it's going you're going to get better. What are you excited about? How about that? I'm really excited just to be on the field on the Friday nights mm -hmm. and just having fun mainly. Oh, yeah. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Now, how do you all tackle this heat? Because as you all can tell, <laughs> we – we couldn't film this outside because you'd be peeling this Pat Brock <laughs> up off the yeah. sidewalk, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you all handle or combat this heat? Because you're working hard, and I know you're having to spend time outside as well. How do you, what do you do to combat this heat and still be able to do, uh, to be productive? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm already chocolate myself, so I try <laughs> to put a little, little um, spray on just to keep myself ready. But, um... We just make sure we have water before we go on the field, mm -hmm. make sure everybody's hydrated, make sure everybody got everything they need. Um, it depends on the heat. Sometimes we'll be a little longer on the field than usual yeah. and stay in the shade, stuff like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, you're used to this heat, right? Yes. You can handle it? Yes, because I play football and baseball, so I'm outside almost oh. most of the time. You see, this is no big deal. This is a year-round tan for you, isn't it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yours is, too. <laughs> you got it earnest. <laughs> Is there anything else that you two, you all want to share with the people out there? Because all eyes, they're going to be on you, you know, especially being a rookie, and they're, they're going to be able to tell y'all youngins. First of all, a lot of y'all are little, going to see you out there. You know, they are, and it's like, and I know that you are sp taking special care to make sure that they feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And so are you ready for all of this, baby? Yes, ma'am. We're ready. Anything you want to say to the other rookies out there? Just keep going and never give up on your dreams. There you go. You're living the dream, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say to your section? Um, low brass is the best, especially tubas. Um, that's really it. And look out for the band of goat this year. All right, look out for them. So excited about the new position. So excited about you being a rookie, baby. You don't come up to the big leagues now. Proud of you. All right, this is Brody and JJ. Since 1916, Gravely has been designed, engineered, and made right here in the USA. Whether you prefer gas or electric, every Gravely has been forged with the commercial landscaper in mind. So they're not only built to last, but to also keep you riding comfortably from dawn to dusk. So ask yourself, are you ready to graduate to a Gravely? Hey, I'm TJ Shuler with Myers Equipment Supply. Come see us for all your sales and service needs. The heat is on at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, and you'll find a great deal on a new set of wheels from SUVs, trucks, cars, you name it. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales has it. 
So come on in today and see TJ, Trey, Alan, Britt, or any of the friendly sales staff at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com for more information, or just come see us at 606 East Jackson in Dublin. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. The heat is on, and it's time to get a great deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've got Ty here. How are you doing, Ty? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Nice to see you. And we've got Javier. How are you, Javier? I'm doing great. How about you? Doing well. All right, fellas, talk to us a little bit about you guys. Uh, let's talk about what grade you're going to, what you're working on, what instrument you play, and what your leadership title is here with the Band of Gold. You ready to start with us? Yes, ma'am. Go for it. I am going to ninth grade, and I play trombone, and I'm the sergeant in my section. Now, Ty, uh, are you already, do you already consider yourself a leader? I do. I'm one of the main people that plays, so uh, I help a lot of the people with their music most of the time. For sure. How long have you been a musician? Since fifth grade. Oh, my gosh. Now, is there some family member that are also musicians? No, none of my family are musicians. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. You, you're one of the legends here in your family. What about you, Javier? Share with us. Well, I play the trumpet and I help the section leader around around everything that goes on. So, and, and you're also what is your title? Um, Co-section leader. Co <laughs> I love that. Now here it is. Now we talk about leadership skills. What are your leadership skills? What makes you a good leader, Javier? Well, I tend to take all opinions into account. Mm -hmm. I can keep the peace even when people start to have disagreements. Yeah. And I just. Each time there's a disagreement or something that's going wrong, mm -hmm. I try my best to fix it with keeping a non-biased opinion. So you try to, you're pretty low key though, right? You ever get, do they ever get on your last nerve, Javier, and you let them have it? I guess we'll have to find out someday. <laughs> <laughs> and Ty, what about you as a leader? Um, I'm, what? I'm a very calm person, okay. so I, I keep people calm too, I guess. You do. Now in your section, like you guys have really got to be on point and you're really working hard during these band camps to make sure that you all, for one, you're learning your music, you're getting your timing right. And so it's like, you've been out for a little while. How rusty is your section right now? Well, not we're brand new. We, we only had a few to come in. There's not really much that we need to do. I just help around music once or twice. Mm -hmm. It's, nothing has changed. So you guys got it together, don't you? Yeah. Are you ready for uh, Friday nights? I am. <laughs> now, do you come alive when the crowd go, when you're out in front of a crowd? Is that when you really come alive? Yes. Everything disappears and we just do my thing. You just do it. And what kind of team building do you all do? What are y'all doing to just, you know, make sure that you all, for one, have these relationships and the trust uh, factor in order to be a uh, a great band. What do you all do to build that team, team, uh, that team building and camaraderie? What do you do? Well, during band camp, we spend all day together, pretty much ten hours. So we get really close to each other. So. Yeah. And for you, son. Well, I just try to be in their shoes and understand what's going on for them, how they should feel, what what they want to know, mm -hmm. and I just try to act friendly, act like someone they can talk to. Yeah, for sure. You've got a lot of rookies this year. I didn't realize you had so many rookies. Um, how do you make them feel comfortable? Well, I just go open and out. I, I like to talk to them, oh. <laughs> see if they have any questions, if they have yeah. any problems. Mm -hmm. And I'm just there. I try my best. Try your best. You got it. And now here it is, you guys. Um, so when are you going to be finished with band camp? When's the last day? Friday will be our last okay, day. Okay, so you got a few more days left to get it down pat. And then here it is, getting close to school starting. Who's ready for school? <laughs> Still need a few more weeks, don't we? Yes, ma'am. Anything else you want to make sure that you add or let the people out there know? Or your section, what, what would you like to say to them? Be ready for East Lawrence High School. The band of gold. The band of gold. <laughs> also be ready for East Lawrence High School. <laughs> Same thing. Very good. All right. Thank you guys so much. Javier and Ty. Looking for a career that's always in demand? How about one that provides you with practical and useful skills? A career that allows you to earn hands-on experience and an education with little to no debt? Oconee Fall Line Technical College prepares students with the right set of skills to succeed in fast-growing careers in healthcare, manufacturing, business, and technology fields. 
If you're ready to gain the experience you need to start your career locally, OFTC is where it all begins. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Careers begin here. Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wind Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wind Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road or give us a call at 478-272-3585 That's Dublin Wind Nelson. All right, we've got the percussion captains with us. How are you doing, Riley? I'm good, how are you? Doing great. You know, it feels weird calling you Riley. Not many people call me Riley. I'm going to just stick with Peanut. Is that okay? That's fine with me. <laughs> That's all right. All right, McKenna, how are you, darling? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Doing well. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Now, you guys, I mean, you've had this whole summer. Of course, this summer to me, I think it's been, it seemed a little bit short, hasn't it? It has. And you've been busy throughout your summer. You want to share with us about what's taking place in your life, McKenna? Of course. So this summer, I recently underwent surgery uh, to replace my ear because I was born with a condition called microsia and atresia. So I wasn't really born with a fully functioning ear. And so the implant that I got when I was three years old broke before the school ended. And so I had to have emergency surgery in California with my doctor and get it redone. So that's what my summer has been. So you have gone through quite some journey, haven't you? I have. <laughs> and now look at you. I mean, you look great. You're saying the surgery's done well. You're in great recovery, right? Yes, and I'm you very now, happy. And you've now hit the ground running yes. here. And so talk to us about how, how this uh, week has been, how band camp has been going for you guys, and of course, in your position, what is taking place? So this season we have a lot of rookies, and so we've really been focusing on getting them used to being in a high school group mm -hmm. as well as working with high schoolers because a lot of them are middle schoolers. So we've kind of really tried to focus on mm -hmm. getting them prepared for the season. So. Very good, very good. And, of course, here's your <clears throat> Riley, mm -hmm. Peanut. <laughs> Talk to us, Peanut. Now you're a senior. This is crazy. It is. How has this journey been for you? Because you've been a musician for how long? How long have you been a musician? I've been playing ever since I was in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. True musicianship, I think, I think I was born to be a musician, honestly. Wow. Well, you got the hair for it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and so for you, you know, and in these leadership roles, I mean, you guys have been playing together for a while. You've got a bunch of new rookies. But it's like you, you have to really make sure you are maintaining, getting that respect in order to be effective in your position. How's that gone for you? It's going pretty good. They're listening. But at the same time, it's they're still little kids. They're going to be <laughs> jumping around like, oh, my goodness, this is really new. <laughs> so they have their ups and downs. But all, all in all respect, yeah. I think – I think we've achieved that. And when you see these little rookies, does it kind of remind yourself of yourself when yes. you were that? You're like, oh, yes. my God, this was me? Yes. I was like this? And so it's like I was told that you all have probably over 30 rookies. Oh, my Lord. Lots. And so for you as a leader, how do you, how do you get them to, for one, feel safe? Because I think that when they come into, you know, at the high school level, as coming out of middle school, that's not easy for them. It's really not. And so what I think that Peanut and I have really strived to do is to have that perfect balance of being authoritative as well as letting them know that we can be friends, but we also need to get serious when we need to get serious. Mm -hmm. But we can still have fun while being serious. For sure. And, you know, you guys seem to have a lot of fun together because – you do know your dad is a hoot. Oh, Lord. And that's putting Tell it nicely. <laughs> He's a hoot. Um, how does it for you to be able to, for one, to, to play for your dad, do you ever feel any sense of pressure to perform because the band director is your father? In a sense, yes, of course. I do have to show that I do know how to play. <laughs> Right. I can actually play. Right, right, right. I'm not just some band director's kid, right. but I do strive to be my best. Yeah. 
even though he's not my dad. If he if he wasn't my dad, Wait, let me put it to you this way. <laughs> if he wasn't my dad, yeah. I would still be doing the same thing. I feel like I'd still be in the same position just yeah. because I love what I do. For sure. It's, and, it's so fun. And when you think about it, what do you love most about being a part of the Band of Gold? What I love is the atmosphere, like walking in, seeing the drums, the drum line, just being ready to show up and just bang the drum really hard. <laughs> like. I, you know, what I, I love about you all is that family, that connection you all have, and you know how to, you know how to get serious when you need to get serious. And Peanut, you always have your game face on. I don't mean to be. I, it's like a business thing in front of cameras <laughs> and everybody else. And then when we get into the percussion room, I'm goofing around just like everybody else. Yeah, like, people don't see that normally from you. This is what they see. Yeah. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> and that, is that pretty, pretty accurate? accurate? And now here it is, your senior year. Are you? What are you excited most about your senior year? I mean, I'm excited because it is my senior year, yeah. but I'm not too excited. I know I'm going to miss this extremely. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do nothing but sit there and wish I could just go back all the time. For sure. For sure. Anything else that you want to add to this today? Um, I think it's really important for all of us to remember that we are family. Yeah. And I think that sometimes we get ahead of ourselves. And at the end of the day, we are the band of gold, and we should strive to be the best I of ourselves. I love that. Love that. Anything else, Peanut? She took the words right out she of my mouth. She took the words right out of your mouth. Well, listen, McKenna, we're so proud of you. We know that you and your whole family have been on this journey with you um, to, to the procedure, and now here you are. I was so happy to see you back. I knew I wanted to come give you a squeeze. And we're so proud for you to be in the position that you're in, to be able to affect so many young people, and really be uh, just such a force to be reckoned with seeing you out there on that field. Thank you. I mean, I really am glad that I'm back. It feels nice to know that I was trusted enough to be put in this position, and I'm excited for the season. For sure. And Peanut, you and I go way back, baby boy. Oh, of course. <laughs> we go way back. Oh, of course. I mean, it's like I've been with pride whenever I see you because I've seen you as a, as a little one, and now to see you, you've matured so much, and I love to see you play. And I know that, you know, having your dad as a band director, you still are, are forging your own path, and it's so nice to see. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Christopher Riley, and this is McKenna. As we age, we face more physical concerns. Rehab Advantage in Sports Medicine can help you live a more pain-free life. Back pain, stiff joints, balance concerns, arthritis, and more. Rehab Advantage in Sports Medicine can help you improve your quality of life. Call for a free evaluation today, 478-275-1800. Rehab Advantage in Sports Medicine accepts referrals from your doctor or no referral is needed with direct access for up to eight visits. So call for your free consultation today, 478-275-1800. Rehab Advantage in Sports Medicine, 911 Hillcrest Parkway in Dublin or at Rehab Advantage Sports Medicine. Com. Hello, I'm Tyler Jackson, your Sheriff Candidate of 2024. I need you and everyone to help me in making our community stronger and safer for everybody. Also, we have our students going back to school this year. Let's keep them in mind as they travel to and from school. Let's make sure that we teach them about cell phones to stay off their cell phone as they go to and from their destination because their life matter. Let's collaborate together to ensure they have a safe and productive school year. Thank you, Tyler Jackson for Sheriff for 2024. God bless you. Paid for by the committee to elect Tyler Jackson, Sheriff of Lawrence County. We've got Matt and Marquise with us. They're the percussion instructors, and we're gonna let them give us a little back history about themselves, and then they're gonna, we're gonna segue into them talking about what they have been uh, working on and what they constantly kind of drill into these kids to make sure that they get it together with the Band of Gold. We'll start with you, Marquise. How are you? Doing all right, how about yourself? Doing just fine. You know, I know they roped you into this interview, Marquise. I appreciate you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's no problem. Talk to us. Give us a little backstory about you because I know I remember when you were in the band. Right, uh, high school band from eighth to twelfth grade. I graduated from East Lawrence. This is my alma mater. Graduated in two thousand ten. Uh, spent most of my wonder years here and just enjoyed every moment of it. But I've been giving back uh, now ever since about two thousand seventeen. So this will be my seventh season 
uh, working with the band this year. How does it feel for you? Because, I mean, here it is. You all played on that old field, and now you're playing on this new turf field. How has that transition been for you and, and now actually being in the band and now being one of the instructors? Uh, the transition wasn't too hard. It's just pretty much just taking what I know and just my experience and sharing that with them to mm -hmm. help them better themselves and help them grow. For sure. And now here you are. Matt, talk to us. Now you come all the way from Michigan. Originally from Michigan. <laughs> I live in several states, spent a long time in Florida, mm -hmm. met my, my wife there. Kids are all born and raised there. And then we ended up in Georgia with family here. And I've been a teacher for 10 years. And it's my second year at East Lawrence High School. And uh, been drumming a long time in high school, college, and in drum corps. And uh, really enjoy working with Marquis. It's our second season working together. Yeah. And we're starting to finish each other's sentences. It's been a good time. Oh, my gosh. You two are thing yeah. one and thing two. Exactly. And do you find that you guys have a lot of rookies now? I mean, we, that's been the thing. We've been talking about how many rookies you have. How do you, how do you get everyone to jail? Because you've got to bring those young ones up so that they're able to be uh, to jail with the, the upper class. But what do you all do to make sure that you're in sync? You want to say this or do you want me? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So, yeah, sure. So what we do is uh, what we've actually been trying to do here is allow the veterans on the line. We have six. Um, take the younger kids under their wings and kind of establish a pretty much a front line in a sense. So kind of like from my stint in the military, we always had a we had a person that we addressed. We had a supervisor, but we had people at the lowest level working things out. So before it even gets to us, mm -hmm. we have them like, hey, take them figure it out. If it gets to a, pro a point where it's a problem that's above y'all, then come to us. Okay. And then we work it out that way. So that's why you got these section leaders, you got the sergeants, and then, you know, so for you all, I mean, you have how many that you're in charge of? So I don't think they realize when you talk about percussion instructor, what that means and which musicians that entail. Yes, and we, the, the band is growing in general and with the percussion, and Miss Blanchett's done a great job at the middle school level and elementary. With, along with Mr. Sen at the high school. So she prepares them and he takes them over once they get to eighth and ninth grade. And we've grown from eight last year to 18 and then 19, because we'll have another student joining us in the stands. We'll actually have 19 percussionists. And you're, doing, you're dealing with the battery, which is the snare drums, the tenor drums, the, the uh, bass drums, and the cymbals. And then we're adding, we have so many new people that are well qualified a front ensemble, which is kind of like the concert season equipment. Oh. They don't march the field drill. They're set up right down front by the sideline, by mm -hmm. the uh, where the drum major is, and they move their instruments there, which has a lot of flair, extra sound, and musicality to the music. I love that. So it's like when I first heard you say percussion, I'm just thinking about drums. Right. Yeah. There, there's so many different. <laughs> so many different. <laughs> there's there's so many different things that uh, entails in that. Uh, so with that being said, we also have marimba, xylophone. Glock and spills, chimes, things of that nature. Just oh, yeah. just drum stuff set. that you actually see, even including the drum set, that would be front ensemble. And we use them to add a little bit more of a melodic flair to the music. Mm -hmm. It brings a a very sweet essence to the melody of which is being played throughout the music. So I love that. And what's your genre this year? Our genre is kind of like an R and B funk. So our show yeah. is going to be Earth, Wind and Fire this year. Uh, In the Stone is our first song. Uh, Getaway September is the last one, and After the Love is Gone is our second song that we are playing this year. You know, this is so exciting. You know, I, I know that there's so much that goes into preparing you all to be on that field, and so this is the legwork you all are doing here and getting these young people to be ready. So what is it throughout all of this that you've been, you've been doing this for many years, what has been uh, the most challenging for you, and what has been the most rewarding? The most challenging thing is it's also a great opportunity is now we've both taught drums for a while, but now our group has expanded, which is very exciting, but there's also some logistics to work out. Mm -hmm. So everything flows well. The new folks don't feel like they're being left in the shuffle to bring them along. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Marquis said, assigning roles and a hierarchy so everyone can help each other move along. Yeah. That's a challenge, but it's also exciting because it pushes you forward and the band is growing, the excitement is growing in the community. For sure. So it's, it's a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. For sure. Then, what would you like to add to that for you? Like, what's been the most challenging for you working with the Band of Gold, and what has been the most rewarding thing? So the uh, biggest challenge, like you said, I couldn't have said it any better myself. It is the size of the band that is growing okay. and also the size of the line that is growing. But with the, the most rewarding part about it would actually be just seeing their faces actually light up 
the moment that they actually understand what it is that we're teaching Ooh, them. That little light, that bulb, little light bulb going off. off, exactly. And as soon as they get it, they get it. And it's very rewarding for us because it shows that what we're doing it's is resonating with them mm -hmm. and they're playing back what we've been what we've been giving them so it, sure. that's the most rewarding part about it i love that and so what message do you want to give uh to um to your section or just to the band of gold himself because it's like you've got so many new people mm -hmm. these young people having to transition and it's stressful for them yes. and having to learn these pieces and to really be sharp because i tell them you know i said look when uh all eyes are on you all when you all hit that field. And so you gotta be in sync, you gotta know what you're doing, and you guys are right there along with them. So what kind of words of encouragement or what would you like to say to them? We are, there's obviously some personal pride that goes along with accomplishment for us to feel like we can help a group grow and it makes us feel validated in our own skills. But even yeah. bigger than that is, it's all about the kids and the students and we try to have them take, we're facilitating and leading, but also giving them some ownership yeah. and able to help each other, like we said. And um, they have help along the way. We try to instill good attitudes from the top to the bottom, yeah. a way to work stuff out, which is mm -hmm. good you know, conflict mm -hmm. communication, which happens anywhere, good life sure. skills, and uh, just keep it moving like that. Love that. Anything you want to add to that, Marquise? Sure. Uh, also, don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, one thing that we, that he and I both understand is that we're both still, even though we're instructors, we're still students of the, of this game, of this, yeah. this music thing. We're still students. We're still learning. There are things that we have students right now that are doing that maybe we couldn't even do at one point, mm -hmm. but they can actually show us something and be like, okay, we a little older, but hey, we going, <laughs> we going to get it. We can still get down with the get down. So just don't, you know, never stop learning, never yeah. stop asking and never stop challenging yourself. I love that. Thank you both so much. It's always a pleasure to see you, to see you in your elements. Of course, you know when I come around with the camera, uh, you get a little camera shy, uh, Marquise. <laughs> but I, it's it's so such a blessing to be able to see you all with the God-given talents that you are, and now you're able to share it and continue sharing it with these young people. So thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you all right, much. this is Marquise and Matt. Trying to beat the heat? Come check out our cool deals at Roach Farm and Garden. For your garden and around the house, Roach Farm and Garden has planters, soils, plants, vegetable, and grass seed. Don't forget, it's time to fertilize your yard and pond. Let Roach Farm and Garden help. Got something to feed? ADM, Godfrey, FRM, and Cargill. Roach Farm and Garden has a huge supply of pet and livestock feed. Getting bugged in your own backyard? Flies, fleas, mosquitoes? Roach Farm and Garden has one gallon to 110 gallon sprayers. Too hot and you want to cool off? Roach Farm and Garden has barrel and pedestal fans, not to mention stock tanks up to a thousand gallons. While you're shopping, check out our wind chimes, benches, gliders, and chairs. We even got fryers, grills, and griddles, and always carry a full line of Carhartt and Wrangler wear. Before you check out, grab some of our seasonings and sauces, local honey, jams, jellies, and pickles. Looking for concrete benches, statues, and fountains? Roach Farm and Garden has a huge supply and more arriving every day. Roach Manufacturing, opened in 1929 as a cotton gin, a third generation family business, started by William Patrick Roach and Miss Louise Beecham Roach, which now has become Roach Farm and Garden. Since 1929, from Roach Manufacturing to Roach Farm and Garden, third generation family business here in Dublin and Wrightsville. Come see us. I'm Glenn Register at Hometown Supply. Come by today and let me show you all the different product lines that we carry. Just about anything that you need, we have it in stock. We do financing, we deliver. Just about anything a customer needs for us to do, we do. Come by and let me show you what sets us apart from all the rest. If you can't do business here, you just can't do business. We've been talking all day about the rookies, and we've got another little rookie with us, Valencia Dunn. How are you, Valencia? I'm good. Now, Valencia has reminded me that she and I go way back. Talk to us about that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You were at Susie Dasher. I was at Susie Dasher. And, and you were probably in, the ki in kindergarten. And I was an elf, so I, you know, the Christmas wishes show that we do each year when I was uh, with TV 35, contracting with them, I remember going to Susie Dasher, but you were in kindergarten or something. 
we've got to pull that up. And now hopefully your interview skills have improved, right? <laughs> Share with us a little bit about you, okay? And let's talk about the instrument that you play and how does it feel for you being a part of the Band of Gold? Well, me, um, I'm 14, going to the ninth grade. So I am a nice, caring person who loves to make friends and loves to go out and help people. So I also play percussion. I'm number one bass drum on the drum line. <laughs> oh my God, little mama. What do you love most about being a part of the Band of Gold? I love just the people, the people who are in the band, like they're very caring, they're mm -hmm. very, they listen if you have a problem, and they don't complain, they don't argue with you, yeah. and, it's, and the, the direct directors, mm -hmm. they help you when you need help. And so here it is, you've been a musician since the fifth grade, you kind of stopped and came back, right? Yes, and now here it is, your, your, your high school year. Are you nervous about all of this? Or are you excited about it? Or a little excited. both? I mean, well, both. <laughs> a little both. And so they had a rookie camp for you guys. And so what did you all do in rookie camp to kind of get you prepared for this week here? We went over the mar marching techniques to mm -hmm. help us move our feet right and help us keep our body angles right mm -hmm. with our drums and be able to move forward and backwards at a nice pace and at a steady tone. You're ready for it, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Now this, you know, you guys are getting ready to go outside soon, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna go outside with y'all for about five minutes. <laughs> That's how much y'all gonna get of me in that heat. And so here it is, like, you all work really hard, Valencia, because when it's time for those lights to come on out there for Friday night lights, you all wanna be sharp. And now for you coming out of middle school, what's, what's different do you see about the middle school band as opposed to the high school band? The middle school band is mostly just doing the same thing over and over with the same techniques. Mm -hmm. But once you go to high school, more people is listening to what you're doing. More people is actually looking at you more mm -hmm. because you actually know what you're doing. You're dealing with people who was already doing it more. Oh, so this is advanced, isn't it, baby girl? Yes, this is advanced. And so what do you love most? What do you love most about being a part of the Band of Gold? And what do you find that's a little bit challenging for you? For me, the challenging is the techniques of the band mm -hmm. with the marching you know being outside in the heat but the thing i love about it is because it teaches us how to stay strong and mm -hmm. how to build our muscles and help us with if we're walking somewhere else it'll help us mm -hmm. be able to move forward in our journey as we're trying to get higher and higher in our grades i love that so you're ready for this aren't you yes, and so you know so there are people going to be watching you valencia they're going to say who is this little mama out here on the percussion and it's like you have you've already you've been working hard you know what it requires to be great and you're definitely on that path aren't you yes, is there anything else you want to make sure you let us know i love east florence high school band <laughs> and we love it too valencia uh, we're so proud to have you a part of the Band of Gold now here at the high school level where there's so many things that are going to change for you being at this big school. So getting acclimated one to be able to get that work done and being a part of the Band of Gold is something special. And we're so glad to have you a part of that team. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lovely Valencia Dunn.